Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to show you the Undying Trio showcase, which I just kind of found out. It's a, something pretty cool that you can do with these three characters. Um, let me just show you how I've set them up. Uh, Kokoa is pretty standard. I mean, this equipment might not even be the best, but I, um, I'm i changing things around. Like before I was using uh, something like this uh, on Kokoa to increase the healing. But I'm trying this set out now, but it's not that important. Um, you, you can use whatever you want. Uh, the more important one is actually Samantha. Because on Samantha, I have this tarot, which when she is standing, you know, on standby, she um, uh, reduces her skill cooldown by one, uh, which is really important for what I'm going to do. And the other part that's really important with this is this skill. You get the skill at rank 11. That's this one right over here. Um, let's just read what it does first, and then I'll talk about it. So it, she grants all allies within five tiles around her damage reduction three, so 30% less damage, healing received three, which increases the healing received by 45%. Um, and then she also gains regenerate extra, which heals the ally with the lowest HP by 50% of her M attack within three tiles at the end of the turn. Um, and then on top of that, she also cancels the energy consumption of her trait. So uh, the trait, like whenever anyone gets injured, she heals them for one energy. So she's still able to do that, uh, but it doesn't actually require any energy consumption. It increases the tiles by five. For what I'm going to show you, the tiles doesn't really matter anyway. Um, but, you know, that's what it does. Uh, and then I have this guy, Magnus. Um, for Magnus, the really important part is his trait which uh, reduces the attack and defense of all enemies within three tiles. And uh, I also have the Cry of Victory and Mountain Breaker and Blood and Steel. Like, actually, all three of them are pretty important when you're fighting uh, tough enemies. But, you know, you can also use Forceful Cast. But let me show you what I'm trying to do here with, with this setup. So um, I'm going to start the battle, and uh, I will show you by turn two. So just very standard gameplay, nothing too exciting here. And uh, the nice thing about this is Kokoa doesn't have to do anything. Like, she, she, if you want, you can use this buff. If you have, like, allies somewhere around here that uh, are using the crit buff, you can use that. But you don't, you, you don't have to, like, if I did not have Samantha, I would probably use this buff to make Kokoa, um, you know, have damage reduction 3. But since I'm going to get it from Samantha anyway, I don't have to do that. I can just you know, move her here and keep her standing there. And then Samantha is going to cast the skill. So uh, right away, everyone will get damage reduction three and healing received three, which is going to, like you'll see some crazy numbers for the healing that is on this team um, and also regenerate. So take a look. Okay, and then just check out, I'm going to take the fast off so you can see how much, um, healing is going on so i'm just going to keep him here okay so right away he, she um cocoa heals for uh, 1400 then samantha heals for like 1500 1582 or something like that um ba like it's it's a lot of healing and cocoa basically doesn't die like she uh, cocoa took two hits uh, one of them for 3k one of them for 2 point something k i think uh, and at the start of the turn she's at full health like she just doesn't die <laughs> right uh, now again, you can do whatever you want, you can attack, you can do whatever. I'm just keeping the three of them in this tile formation so that you uh, benefit even more from Magnus's or the trait. Because any enemy that's, you know, in this formation, any melee enemy that's going to attack any three of them will have to, um, you know, get debuffed by Magnus. And then I... Oh, and then the important part here for Samantha, because she is using the... Um, tarot that I talked about, I'm actually not going to do anything with Samantha. I'm just going to wait. And by waiting, she will be able to cast it every three turns. She's able to cast her ultimate every three turns, and it lasts for two turns. So it's, you know, it's pretty powerful. And then on top of that, now I'm going to combine the Mountain Breaker effect. So that's going to give everybody physical defense, uh, sorry, physical attack down too. So it's going to make this team even more tankier. So we do that. And then as you can see, all the healings just keep procking off of everyone. 
and they just they just get fully healed basically um like i can just keep doing this and it, like they will they will not die because there's just so much healing here so i feel like this is uh the undying team or something the undying trio that's what that's the name I'm, I'm thinking of but yeah that's basically it um so when when does uh kakoa's effect there is one turn where kakoa is without the damage reduction which is basically this turn so if Kakua gets hit right now, um, she does have to go without the damage reduction right now. But, um, I mean, to overcome that, she can also just use her own, you know, her own skill, the Lotus skill, if she needs. But she also, you know, she has a lot of healing in this team anyway, that maybe that's not even necessary. Uh, like, maybe you can handle one turn without the, uh, you know, w without the damage reduction buff. But if you can't. But, you know, if you cannot, you can just use this. On, on the previous turn, I would have used this skill. But I'm not going to use that now because um, Samantha is just going to give it anyway. There you go. So here, so Samantha sometimes has a, a lack of energy. And the reason for this is because uh, her uh, trait, if you, use up her, if you use her trait too much, then this can become an issue. So uh, for this instance, you might have to set up Samantha a little bit differently. And how you would do that, because basically you're not using any of her other skills anymore, the way this is set up, right? So how you would do this is, instead of one of the other skills, instead of the um, the leader skill or the heal, because now you're not healing anymore, you can basically bring other passive skills. So you're able to bring this skill, the energy restoration, and basically make sure that she will always have the three energy needed to cast this. Um, what happened was that when she was, only on, the, only on the turn she cast this, she's able to have her trait take effect with zero energy uh, consumption. After that, she will use one energy, So uh, and basically she used too much of it. That's why she only had you know uh, two energy left, and she needed three to cast the skill. So uh, that could happen. And since you're not using the other skills with the setup anyway, um, you, might, you might as well bring along energy restoration. So how I would, uh, what I would do is instead of heal, I would bring energy restoration. Uh, I would bring this one, especially if I have other PayPal states heroes that I'm using like uh, Beryl or Garcia. Um, if I'm using either of those heroes, I would take uh, the battle flag of PayPal, I, I would bring this one. If I'm not using them, then I would prob I would still probably bring the heal then. And the reason I'm bringing this heal is an emergency, you know. Uh, like, I don't expect to use it. I shouldn't really be using it. But if there's a, you know, if somebody's going to die next turn if I don't use something, then I'm not going to wait and not do anything. I would use the heal. So uh, this is a kind of an idea. I don't know how often I'll play this, simply because um, there are so many other ideas I wanted to do and I didn't want to use the Castilla to show you um, you know that that's why that happened where okay she ran out of energy um, but I thought this was a pretty interesting kind of concept to share so I, I, I told you in the previous video that I did that there's gonna be a lot of content coming out with Kokoa because she's just an interesting character and there's just so many different things you can do with her so um, yeah so this is my my video about the Undying Trio. I hope you know, I hope you like this video. And if you have found other interesting uses, please share it as well. Um, after this, I'm going to show you another video about how I'm using Inna. It's very similar, but you know, I'm going to show you in the video anyway. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.